You know, the, the issue is there has been a gap where people were not informed because we, there is the African uh, Union Charter on, on decentralization and issues on that uh, empowering the local government. And it has been uh, an informative and uh, learning experience for me as uh, the deputy mayor of the city of Mogadishu, which has been off the line. So certain seminars are, number one, they give information to the people. And number two, it's you, you make your network. You get to know many different people and who are on the same ideas and exchanging ideas on how we empower. The whole issue is involving now empowering the local governments, which is, which is given the mandate to, uh, you know, that's a key. We have, uh, since 2010, there has been a lobby, even in the Millennium Development Goals, people were willing that services should be delivered effective, effectively and efficiently by uh, the local governments and by empowering. And the African Union ca came with a decision that local governments should be empowered so that they can deliver not only services, or, but also uh, to be able to finance themselves. So this is ongoing and we really appreciate that now there is the contact between uh, the African Union and, and uh, the local uh, governments and cities of Africa. You know, I have asked that question personally, who is supposed to sign uh, the ratifications? On? There are a lot of charters, there are a lot of documents that need ratification and endorsement by the central uh, government. But uh, now it's my, I've been talking to our Minister of Foreign Affairs on this issue. And of course, once it's connected, once all the documents will be available, whatever decisions are made in uh, the African Union, our representative should pass it to, to the government to sign. There are some documents which are signed by our government, and now I think we'll personal our pioneer and make sure that uh, I be the champion of making all necessary documents to be signed by, by our government. You know, the High Council, it's just offering the chance that uh, all the information be exposed to the local government so that they can send a delegation. There has been a very good experience in, uh, in the ECO, ECOWAS, in the West African uh, states where the local governments are now, uh, they have th their freedom of movement, where they can exchange trade. So that's where we are looking in, into. This information has been missing from our, our part and now I think this will empower us also to make a follow-up and you know whatever is coming out to pioneer and be involved. Thank you. We are just starting. We are working with uh, a joint program of the uh, local government where uh, five UN agencies are working. We are being supported by Habitat. You know it's under process, and we every country is unique and different because we are busy with state forming, but. There is also, on the other hand, ongoing projects where services should be decentralized. Fiscal decentralization and service decentralization. We are not really at the forefront, but we are on track. Thank you very much. And we are very thankful to the support we are getting from UCLG Africa. Thank you.